Hello YouTube world. This is Marvin with Better Way to Connect TV. I'm back again with this antenna, this Lava HD2605 Ultra. This this and this video today is going to be kind of shot on the fly. You may see me do a lot of pauses, some breaks and stuff. So, uh, and the reason why that is is because I'm going to actually install this antenna today in my attic. I've been contemplating with this thing. I've had it for a while. But because of my jobs and uh, I've been so busy, I just haven't had a chance to get around to it. Uh, actually, this is what I do. I actually install antennas, HD antennas, just like this for a living. And um, and so this is, like I said, w my situation at my home is a little different. Um, <clears throat> where I live, I live in Orange County, and this, uh, and, and I'm about 60 miles away from the television towers in L.A., so when, when, I, when, it, when it comes to uh, getting a signal, it's kind of hard. I have to do I have to go above and beyond <laughs> to get a signal where I live. But uh, right now what I'm using is the, it's called the, the Mohu Sky 60. And it's really it, it's done really well. I mean, I can't say enough about that antenna, the Mohu Sky 60. It, it pulls in channels like like a genie. I'm telling you, it's just like magic or something. Right now, I receive 98 channels, and out of that 98 channels, I would probably say what's watchable is um, a good portion, like maybe 50, 50 or 60 channels that that are that are watchable. Um, and what I mean by that is, you know, in, in English, uh, you got your your Asian channels, you got your Spanish channels, and they also come in crystal clear. But I don't sp <laughs> I don't understand the, the language, so I wish I did. I, I don't understand the language, but if I understood it, man, I'm telling you, I'm, my my television watch would go up uh, tremendously. But I get the basics. I get the uh, NBC, CBS, uh, ABC. I get uh, CW, a whole bunch of other host of channels that are very that vary in in in, a, in my opinion are better than cable. So or or satellite. Um, well, the main reason they're better than cable and satellite because it's free. You know, I ain't got to pay a monthly fee. This is something that I went out, bought the antenna, I came home and installed it in my house, and now my family is watching free TV. My wife she gets to record all our favorite shows. Uh, if, if you've looked at my channel, you see some of the reviews that I've I've done on DVRs. Uh, we we have a, a basic DVR that we carry. And I'm telling you, man, it's it's the bomb. So, again, this I've been waiting to get get to this. This is kind of it's not an actual real unboxing because I've actually taken the antenna out and put it together. And so this is kind of I just wanted to basically show you guys what the box looked like, the the actual model number. Um, go online, search search for this antenna, and find it for yourself. Or, or you can go to my, my website. I have a link to my website. And you can see the reviews that people are, are saying about this thing. It's, it's, it's really actually awesome. So well, I'm curious to see what it's going to do inside my attic. Unfortunately, I'm not able to install it on the outside, uh, on the roof of my house, because in my community, they don't allow uh, the different types of antennas, the HD antennas that they, you know, that, that they have on the outside of the roof they allow satellites because everybody's used to a satellite you know nobody's going to question the satellite on the side of the house um and it doesn't do anything to property value so people pretty much they live with satellites but when you when you start talking about hd antennas they vary in size they look totally different no no antenna is the same and so <laughs> When you start putting all these different types of antennas on the side of the house, people look, I guess, you know, they're concerned about the property value, you know, dropping or whatever. But hey, you know, we we out here trying to get free TV. That's all we're trying to do. Trying to save some money at the end of the at the end of the month. And um so they I guess, you know, whatever I can do inside my attic is cool. Just don't put it on the outside. So let me go ahead and uh open this up for you. I'm gonna set this antenna. I'm gonna set this uh look I got antenna on the brain. I'm gonna set this uh, camera down so you guys can see here. Okay. Sometimes I ramble on to a little bit too much. I know y'all listen to me. I, I, anybody who knows me, my friends and family, they know I can talk. I, I 
sometimes I run away with talking. <clears throat> All right, here we go. We have the control unit. It's actually an amplifier and a control unit because this, this antenna, it rotates. It rotates to the left, rotates to the right. So that's pretty good, pretty, pretty cool. You got your antenna in, your TV1, TV2, those goes out. You got your power button right here, and then you got your power adapter plug. They give you a 15 volt power charger. 15 volt power charger. One of those space age remotes. This look like something you see on um, Star Trek, right? Whew. RG6 cable, which is about three feet long. I don't even know why they included this in the box. You can't do anything with it. Uh, it's not going to connect to anything. I mean, I, three feet? Come on. This is going to be up on the roof. They give you a three foot. I guess this is a test antenna with, I guess. Some tie ties. And instruction manual. Okay. Now when you go out and you purchase these antennas, they usually come with everything in the box. But this is a little bit different. This one's a little bit different because it's a little bit more, I think this would be more than what uh, just a normal consumer would go out and buy. Uh, this here is basically for your your techies, for people who you know your your do-it-yourselfers, trying to you know. This is a little bit more than what someone you know just that, that normally shops at Best Buy goes and find uh, an antenna at Best Buy and says you know I'm gonna go home and install this and see what I get. This is a pretty pretty big deal. Now, as you see on the box, it has a steel pole right here. I had to go out to Home Depot and buy that pole, buy the screws, and the floor flange or the floor mount to mount this this uh, antenna. And the end result, it cost me about twenty dollars out of pocket. Uh, the antenna itself, let me check and see. I think it. I I paid uh sixty four, yeah, sixty five dollars for the antenna. So the antenna wasn't wasn't that bad. And I think if you look, if you go on Amazon right now, there is a sale on this particular one. And they also have um, one that's similar to this, but it's not sold by the company, but by this exact company. But they do have one that's similar to this. I think it may be a, it may be an Amazon version of this one. But um, and, and that one has good reviews, too. But I wanted to go with this one. This one has the, the most reviews. Uh, well, I should say this one has the best reviews. So I'm going to check this out and see what happens. Um, I hope that it does well. Um, and, and I'm especially curious to see what it's going to do in my attic. Because, you know, you got to fight all the, the materials, before the, you know, the attic uh, materials before you even get out to the signal. So we're going to see what happens. I mean, right now I'm going to show you guys uh, the, the actual antenna itself, what it looks like. Okay. And this is the actual antenna. I've already put it together. It kind of looks space age, right? This is the motor mount. This is what rotates the, the, the antenna. Okay. So yeah, I'm gonna mount this in my intent my in my attic and see what happens. So it's gonna be a little bit of work, but we'll see what happens. So the next time you see this. Guys, this should be mounted in my attic, and um, I'll give you a walkthrough. Uh, sorry about the shakiness of the camera.
Okay, I'm holding this with my hand. And I'll give you a walkthrough of the uh, of the antenna. All right, stay tuned.